In season two of Love at First Shot, we met seven first-time shooters who experienced firearms in different ways. One of those new shooters was Jackie Ducci, who hit the range with longtime shotgunner mom, Donna. Jackie was intent on learning to shoot in order to be able to better protect herself. Her Love at First Shot experience cemented that determination to learn more and begin the process of becoming a first-time gun owner. And Jackie was surprised to find a new hobby along the way, too. Here's how her story has unfolded since those first shots. I'm Julie Golub, and this is Love at First Shot, sponsored by Smith & Wesson. I wanted to pursue this from day one because of the personal protection element, number one. But then my mom and I had so much fun together. I thought maybe there could be multiple benefits to going through this whole thing, and I was just excited to keep going. To start the permit process from start to finish definitely took longer than I expected. The very first thing you have to do is go take a class. You get your certificate, then you have to take it to the police department with a whole bunch of other paperwork, like a birth certificate, reference letters, and things like that. You pay a few fees, they interview you, they also do fingerprints too. And then you just wait. And for me, it took a couple of months from the time that I finished my part to the time when the state did theirs. Truthfully, it was a much more convoluted process than I thought it was going to be. Actually, buying the gun was relatively simple. We met um, someone that worked there who was great and gave us some one-on-one -on -one attention and walked us through what our options were, and I felt very comfortable with what we picked out. When Jackie came in, she was very natural. She was very laid back. She kind of knew what she wanted. So when she came in, I pointed her right to the Smith & Wesson Model 66 because it was really ideal for what she was looking for. It wasn't too small, it wasn't too big, it was kind of just the right size, and it was something that, sh that was easy for her to use, and it would be effective for home defense. So I knew I wanted a revolver because that's what I feel the most comfortable with, and I liked the four-inch barrel on the gun that I have. I felt like anything with a barrel that was too much smaller, it just felt harder in my hand. I just wasn't as comfortable with it. So it's gotta be something you like, it's gotta be something that fits in your hand, it's gotta be something that you see yourself being able to use effectively. It really just comes down to practice and training, coming to the range, trying some different guns out, finding something that fits you. After I bought my gun, I shot it for the first time about a week later with family, just, you know, trying it out, and they wanted to try it too, because they were excited. I was a little bit surprised how much I took to it. I thought, I'll go make the purchase and I'll have it in my home, and maybe I'll shoot once in a while, but it is something that I look forward to doing now, and it's been really fun, because it's given me a shared activity now with some family members and some friends that I didn't really expect, you know, to have that. When I first got the permit, the first thing I did was I took a picture of it on my iPhone and I sent it to my brother because my brother's been, you know, a gun enthusiast for a long time. <laughs> he texted me back and he said, this is the proudest day of my life. <laughs> he was really happy for me. I think naturally as a brother, you're happy to see your sister take such an interest in it and have fun with it. And uh, she's got such a competitive streak as it is that it's, uh, it's just fun to see her kind of take the bull by the horn, so to speak. It's given us another reason to spend time together and something that we all have in common now. So it's interesting because ever since I started this process of obtaining my permit, I, I get two different reactions. Either people get really excited and they say, wow, I really want to do that too and that's so great. Or it's the opposite where they kind of look down on it and they don't really understand. Tabitha fortunately fell into the first category and so she was just really into it. I have thought about shooting, um, especially now with everything that's happening in the world and especially with our young children. I want the ability to protect my family. Uh, Jackie was actually a student of mine over 20 years ago, and now the teacher has become the student and the student has become the teacher. Jackie just sauntered over with her cute little bag and takes out this gun like it's nothing and it was very good at explaining first the safety uh, aspect of it so that I understood that you do need to respect a gun. And then she was just very good about taking it step by step for me. I tend to have a lot of really competitive friends who are all, you know, hard charging and ambitious people and like Tabitha is a great example. I like that element of it where we can go and like have a little friendly competition. That's been a bonding experience for us. We are not the type we're gonna meet on a Monday morning for coffee. 
We are the type we're gonna say, let's go shoot for a half hour together. But I just think this is our personality. We are very active and we are eager to try new things and excel at new things. It's been fun. I mean, I have been able to pull her in in a similar way that my mom did with me. And surprisingly, a lot of my female friends have stepped up and I didn't expect that. Like they've heard that Tabitha and I shoot together and then they'll call and say, well, I want in on that too. <laughs> like, when can we go? My advice would be hook up with somebody that you trust, that you have a good relationship with, who knows what they're doing and what they are talking about because that helps not only you feel more relaxed about the whole process, but you'll actually get really good input and wind up making better decisions. I feel like had I not had the support from friends and family, I wouldn't have known what I was doing at all. I will say having that firearm in my home, it's just given me a real sense of peace and calm and it's really been wonderful. So I'm glad I did it. Becoming a legal gun owner is a process. There are federal, state, and even local laws to follow. In some cases, applying can be complicated and lengthy. For Jackie, it was worth the wait. It all started with that first trigger pull on a revolver, and now Jackie has joined millions who not only choose to own a gun for protection, but enjoy the positive side effects of fun on the range through sharing shooting with friends and loved ones. Are you a first-time gun owner? Share your experience with us on social media with the hashtag Love at First Shot. Next time on Love at First Shot, we catch up with Josephine and learn how she's connecting with other women shooters through her local gun club.